so we're here with Michaela Wallen. Yes. Official. It's Facebook official now. So yeah. that means that's a better than your driver's license, marriage license, any of that stuff, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, are you officially married to Lucas on Facebook as well? Because uh, that, that's important, you know? Yes. You have, okay, yes. so it, it doesn't just say complicated or no. whatever on your Facebook <laughs> status. Uh, so we got married over the winter, right? Yeah, uh, spring. Spring, well, yes. and you had your little honeymoon and all that Not stuff? Not yet. Not no. yet? No. What are we waiting for? Some Hamiltonian win or? Time. To, okay, time, mm -hmm. time, time. And uh, and then we're gonna be having a little one too? Yes, Right. November. So uh, I do we know? Boy. Okay, so my suggestion was like, if one of these two horses wins, you gotta name it like either Jovi or Buff, right? Like. Uh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. 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 Uh, do you have a name picked out already or no? no. Not yet. Let it, does he get to decide or you or how does um, that work? Well. We'll see. Probably me. Probably okay. Probably me. You get to decide everything. You grew it, right? So, exactly. Right. Yeah. So so, um, we have joviality. That's your girl. Yes. Okay, and then your hubby is training rebuff yes who's so you're the bridge here I it's know. easy for lucas and marcus to just like marcus can be like yeah i don't care about rebuff oh. he's just another horse <laughs> and lucas can be like yeah i don't care about joviality because that's another <laughs> horse you are stuck in this bridge and that's um uh, that's that's got to be quite uh interesting i would say on you the last couple weeks maybe yes no yeah I no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not interesting. Do you like that? Yeah, well, I'm happy for both of them. You're happy for both? Yes. yes. If I, I, I've, I've jokingly said, uh, if these guys were good trainers, we could figure out a way to train them for a, a good dead heat. For yeah, a win. that's okay. That's okay? It's fine. You'll, you'll, you'll take that? It's fine, too. Uh, so, with Joviality, this is your girl. You've, you've had her since... She was a baby. She was a baby. Yes. Uh, was she anything... Sometimes we like them when they're not special, right? When they just do their job, they're quiet yeah. and they're easy. Do you like that? Yeah, but she's special. She's special. Yeah, Why? Just she's very temperamental. Oh, she is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now I know you've been, you've had kind of the temperamental ones lately. Yeah. Green shoe comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, some of the other ones. Is that just because you deal with them better, or is that just kind of how it works out? Probably me. Probably yeah. you. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're the temperamental filly Probably. that umbrellas everybody. <laughs> uh, so right from the get go, was she temperamental or? Uh, your reality? Yes. Yes. Uh, no, she was very good in the beginning. She was then good. She got worse. Okay. After she won the Sire Stakes final in New York, she yes. just got worse and worse. Like uh, in the barn or on the racetrack or a little bit of both? Uh, barn mostly. Barn, yeah. like a little bit headstrong. She's starting to swell up and get a little confident. Yeah, like I'm she, the boss around here, right? Yeah, like if you stand with your back against her, she'll jump oh, she, out and she, bite she's you. She's going to bite you? Yeah. Okay. She's how many, kick how, many uh, how many bruises do you have on your back? Well, I don't, but the other ones do. Oh, so yeah. she knows, yeah. like your mom? Oh, no, she'll jump out at me too, but I know she's there. So. Oh, okay, so you've, you've gotten, you, like, yeah, moms know, like, yeah, yeah. I got to be a little, uh, a little flexible there. Yeah. So uh, they get turned out in the winter and um, coming back. Yeah, she was turned out for a month. A month? Yeah. So any, but she was just home. She was just home, yeah. yeah. So it's not even like a, a change in scenery or change no, in plans. No, she was just uh, in her regular paddock just for a month, and then, yeah, she started to shame back. Before she got turned out, uh, then let's pull up. Let's pull up the. Uh, let's pull up. The, is this all of her races? You yes. just pulled her right. She's already prepared one step ahead <sighs> of me. This is great. So uh, yeah, she wins the Yonkers final out of post eight. Yeah, no, seven. Post seven. Oh, no, the Cyrus Stakes final. Yes, yes, yeah, last that year. that was eight. Last yeah. year, post eight. That's, I mean, I don't, any horse that can do that. No, oh, she's super fast. That is, yeah, but even if you're super fast, like, to do that, Yeah. that's very rarely, I mean, Yonkers half mile track, that is super hard to do. So mm -hmm. that's when I think everybody kind of started to be like, wow, like, that was, that was a mile that, you don't see too often. It's easy to win at the, not that it's easy to win at the Meadowlands, but again, that Yonkers post eight was like, that was a, uh, okay, we're looking at her. Yeah. Now we make our way to the Breeders' Crown. She didn't win her Breeders' Crown a limb. No, she finished second, but she, she raced second. really good. She raced really yes. well. And then the draw comes out. Yeah. 
and it's a similar situation that we'll get into uh post 10 yes at that point are you like well we did it from post 8 post 10 no big deal right yeah i told everybody ramona hill one from post 10 so she can do it too. exactly yes. it's right exactly and then we're looking at the weather forecast on like wednesday oh oh you're right oh, yeah, it's awful. oh and it's just rain like yeah. and i believe it rained for like an hour and a half only during the breeders crown mm -hmm. i think race four was fine yeah that night i think it just started to open up uh and i think you were the first race for first, no second one. second race yeah lucas was first right the L lucas was first mm -hmm. so post 10 uh let's pull up the breeders crown right now put hit, hit the video two-year-old philly trot for six hundred post 10 it is just a monsoon here three to two on the mm -hmm. free little bit of lexus eight to five on the five raised and you know Lindy. brian's probably gonna shoot out of there right but are you watching the race here? I, I, yes, I, actually, yes. Are you glued right on the TV? Yes, for once. I usually watch your races from uh, the track. Because in New York, you can see it, everything from the track. You got to be happy. We're getting away fifth, sixth, right in the middle there. Yeah, well, I had two. I had Yaya in this one also. But... Okay, so you're trying to look. You One eye, left eye's on Jovi yeah. and the other one's on. Here we go. We, we settle right in fifth. Right behind uh, Raised by Lindy, the favorite, yeah, who perfect. beat you in the limb. Yes. So you got to be like, all right, we're good. We're in a good spot. Yeah. Some horses are breaking around you, and she's just doing her job. Yes. She almost seems like she's perfect to drive. She is. She is. Yeah, she's in from third. Joviality fourth on the inside. Parked out is Brickhouse Babe. Uh, she is stalled and pins in Valentina Blue on the cones. Then it's Delilah Hanover, followed by Ebby's Lady Who Broke, and Selfie Queen was a breaker and uh, far back is Jaya Bay who also broke 56 and 1 for the half on to the far turn it's little bit Alexis at 8 to 5 the target Jiggy Jog the quick start secures that pocket ride here comes Jingra and raised by Lindy in attack mode now third and gaining a track so raised by Lindy in the limb right to the front yeah and you I think you your horse got stuck in traffic a little bit mm -hmm. and was flying at the end yeah she was really good so now raised by Lindy's not on the lead. No. A uh, little bit of Alexis is on the lead. She was the uh, one of the limb winners too. But mm -hmm. raised by Lindy, I think was your main competition, right? Yeah. So now you're following her, and she's not in the spot where she won. No. So you almost have to be like, yeah, we we kind of got this, right? Oh. Uh, Nope, really. No, 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 no. She's really. still behind her. <laughs> she's still behind her, so she's got to pass her. By Joe Viality, she's well positioned to strike second over in fourth. Valentina Blue on the inside, fifth. Brickhouse Babe gets in gear now, fifth on the outside. As they pass three quarters, it's little bit Alexis. Raised by Lindy on the outside there, stride for stride. Jiggy Jug needs racing room, and Joe Viality looms large. Flips three wide, 126 and one for three quarters. Raised by Lindy, surges to command. But on the outside, Joe Viality has dead aim. Joe Viality coming on. Raised by Lindy, full out. Joe Viality, a big effort on the outside from post 10. Raised by Lindy. Joe Viality is relentless on the outside. Joe Viality on the outside, on the inside. Raised by Lindy. Yeah, and Joe it was Viality. very tight. They hit the line together. Too close to call. You kind of knew, though. You were like, yeah, uh, we got this. No. No, <laughs> I thought she was second. Once uh, once a 10 popped up, um, do you care that it's downpouring? Because no. we, we've got some good pictures of you, just of you course. and Mark is just drenched, <laughs> soaking wet. I think you're giving her a big old kiss on the forehead yeah. uh, in, in the winter circles. It was a pretty good night when you, all of a sudden you don't realize that it's 40 degrees and cold mm. and windy and rainy no. and a nice October uh, evening, right? No, no, you can't really feel it then, but then afterwards it was pretty cold. Afterwards you're like, <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, I'm cold, I'm cold, I want to go back inside. No, uh, and you still have to, you know, you got to bathe or you got to ship her home, you got to do all that stuff. Yeah. So at what point were you like, we want another Breeders' Crown here? Oh, uh, well, I don't know, because we stayed over because we had a horses in detention the day after. Oh, that's so right, yeah, right, that's right. So I stayed over and the horses shipped home because we had a few, few of them still there. But, so yeah. maybe Sunday you were able to take yeah, a breath. Take, take and at that in. point too, like you said, the race before, Lucas had just won his Breeders' Crown. Yeah. So you're trying to be happy for your hubby, yes. but you got your own horse and it's like, well, he, I'll deal with him later. I'll deal with, <laughs> I'll deal with Lucas later. We can celebrate later. Uh, and then 
she ends up having a great uh she wins uh I, I forget the race that it's called at uh the following week she beats venerable uh goldsmith goldsmith yes. okay she beats venerable yes and um that was the test kind of yeah. where where again new york Sire six final check british crown final check mm -hmm. beat the best horse in your division check mm -hmm. that's where you had to be pretty confident going into the winter right yeah 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 <laughs> i mean no one she finished off the year very good she finished off the year yeah. good we come back uh not too many horses are gonna go the route that she has i don't mm. actually know how many new york sire stakes winners we've had win the hamiltonian it may yeah. only be a couple yeah. if any it, i'm it's my fault that i didn't do the research on that because i'm just thinking about it now hollywood hayden will yell at me for not knowing <laughs> but she's gone the route she's sire stakes empire breeders classic yeah yonkers trot winner yes uh we've had a couple of those win the hamiltonian recently but now let's pull up the del miller uh memorial she's got post seven yes uh are we gonna see brian in the red colors or what do we he won the breeders crown in the red colors oh yeah she's probably gonna wear them saturday the yes. red colors yes okay so that's so we just picked the big races to bust out the red uh, uh yeah the red coat of Courant. Lion. yes it's anders the uh, owner's colors right yeah Courant and yes. and uh so uh, it's a little weird seeing her without the red yeah uh, uh we, we just got the white colors of, of brian Phillies are off and trotting. Joe Viality on the outside. Out fast. Miss Walner fashion shoots out. So does Venerable from the inside. But Joe Viality crosses over right her, away. Her gate speed is. Here. Yeah, it's Six crazy. Here over it's, it's, doesn't matter where she is. Out of all the horses you guys have had, maybe the best one off the car? Yeah, probably, yes. Like, think of all the, the horses you guys have had. Yeah. She is so quick off the gate. She is. So it's Joe Viality. And good on the lead. Yeah, Which she's good from behind him and from the lead. She can really go anywhere. Next stretch, Venerable trots in second out. Selfie Queen tracking along in third position. And Brickhouse Babe fourth on the inside. Then Miss Walner Fashion followed by Lil Bit Alexis and Date Night. And no changes, no right lines. It's Joe Viality here at one to five in full control and getting a breather. Venerable, a two-hole ride. Selfie Queen on the helmet, third. A Brickhouse Babe is uh, jammed up a bit in fourth there. Then Miss Walner, Fashion, uh, followed by a little bit of Lexus and Date Night. The half was just 56 seconds. On to the far turn, Joe Viality by a length and a half. It's Joe Viality and Venerable second. Big three wide sweep, little bit of Lexus now bursting on the scene. Now second already there and uh, looking to ratchet up some pressure on Joe Viality, but she steps out. Little bit of Lexus on the outside stride, first ride with Venerable as the pace picks up. Brickhouse Babe spinning her wheels to her inside selfie queen. 124 and one for three quarters. Miss Walner fashion broke. They turn for home in the stretch. It's Joe Viality. Venerable looking for an upset on the outside and has dead aim. Joe Viality put to the test here. Joe Viality, Venerable, these two fillies slug it out to the wire. A brilliant sprint. Joe Viality, Joe Viality. We're happy for Joe Viality. Then Venerable, second, a very solid second. Then Selfie Queen and Date Night. Joe Viality in one fifty and two. Nothing makes you happier than that, right? No. Uh, we're heading to the Hambo Limbs. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna Exciting. be fun, right? You yes. guys have been through this before. Um, how much can you enjoy it? Um, well, okay, what's fun? Are the limbs or the final? Well, you gotta make it to the final first. Okay, but like, all, you know, how many times you guys have been there? What's what's funner, the limbs or, or the final? Well, the final. The final, okay, yeah. so you like the final. So the limbs is a little bit more like work. Yeah, and then the finals with that whole week everybody's here visiting yes uh, do you like that do you the like when pe people visiting people bothering you and you know well yeah everybody's kind of, visiting from sweden it's and okay taking pictures. it's kind of fun to have people over but as long as it's not bothering the horses it's okay okay yeah no media guys bothering you at five o'clock in the morning like i did uh. the other day <laughs> knocking on the barn hello i'm here <laughs> i'm here to take video no it's fun when people come visit they they want to see the horses they want to see the horses yes. uh last thing favorite thing about joviality well i kind of like everything about her okay just yeah. her temperament and how she yeah, how often do you like do you jog her mostly in trainer and things like that or is she I, a little bit yeah okay I do. 
So, really so like. what, I mean, okay, forget that last question. Last question here is when are we going to see, forget, I mean, we have the Melander stable, mm -hmm. you know, you got your brothers, Marcus and Matthias and you, it's the three M's and, and your mom's there and all that stuff. And we've got mm -hmm. Wallen racing stable. When are we going to see Michaela Wallen racing stable? Oh, I don't think so. No, no, <laughs> no. I mean, you you know, you're just as good as those two knuckleheads, right? So <laughs> let's forget about them. Let's start our own racing stable. That's that's my that's my advice for you. What oh, do you think of that? Yeah, no, I don't want to be a trainer. No, you, no is it I'm, too too much stress, too much pressure that way? No, you just like the horses. I just like the horses. Okay, you don't I'm like good. dealing with the prima donna drivers no, or the owners. They can do that. They, they can do all that. You just want the horses. <laughs> yes. I can. Uh, I completely understand that. So, uh, uh, good luck, Michaela, and um, hopefully you. it's a fun two weeks coming up, and uh, we're all going to enjoy it.